Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining how an octane rating can affect an engine's performance, the octane rating of the fuel. Now the cool thing about this video is at the end we're actually going to have an experiment uh, conducted by Shell which actually shows on a Volkswagen Golf TSI uh, how the octane rating will actually affect that car's performance. So very cool test, uh, but before we go into the test we need to understand the theory. So a higher octane fuel allows for you to advance your ignition timing. Now why would you want to advance your ignition timing? Well ignition timing is all about a balance. So let's look at the two different cases. If you spark uh, your ignition to light the air fuel mixture within your cylinder too early, you're going to have wasted energy. So here we've got that example. You've got your piston coming up, you've ignited too early, so you have this flame front, you're burning the air fuel mixture, and you're pressing down on that piston as it's still on its way up before it even reaches the power stroke and starts to move down to provide useful work. So you don't want that to happen, so you want to have the timing a little bit later. But you don't want the, work, the timing too late, because if you have the timing too late, you'll waste work. So here's that example. So you've got your piston that comes up, and then it starts to go down, and then as it's going down, you ignite the spark, and so that flame front is now chasing the piston. So that work isn't yet usable until you've expanded the pressure enough to actually start pushing that piston down. So you've lost potential work because you didn't have that pressure when that piston was up closer to the top when you could force that piston down much earlier with a much greater pressure. So there's a sweet spot in there and your problem is if you go too early to get that higher pressure to have the piston moving down uh, with a higher pressure then you could run into knock if you're using low octane fuel. So here's basically a curve that I've drawn out to explain this. So here we have our pressure, and your peak pressure is going to be around here, and that's kind of what you want when you want to have that ignition is to create that peak pressure. But in order to have the timing to do that, you can't use a low octane fuel because we'll, for in this example, we're going to say that knock is going to occur some point around if you have your peak pressure occurring here based on your ignition timing. So what a higher octane fuel does is allows you to advance the timing a little bit earlier, uh, preventing knock and allowing you to have that peak pressure a bit higher and create more power ultimately. So if you haven't yet watched my videos on uh, octane rating, um, on knock, and on ignition timing, you may want to check those out so I'll include links in the video description. Um, now, so what Shell has done, and this is actually a really cool test, is they've got this four-cylinder engine. Two of the cylinders are going to be running on one fuel, and the other two cylinders are going to be running on a different fuel. And these fuels are going to have uh, different octane ratings. One's going to be low, one's going to be high. And so the engine's going to run, this is a single uh, cylinder bank, this is a four-cylinder engine. The engine's going to run with these two different fuels in the two different cylinders. So each of these cylinders is going to have a pressure gauge, and the pressure gauge will measure the peak pressure, and we can actually look at the average of these two cylinders versus the average of these two cylinders, and one will have a higher octane fuel, and we'll see if one can actually get uh, higher pressures and thus create more power. So let's go ahead and check out the test. So we have here two uh, separate high pressure pumps, and each pump is feeding two cylinders. We have special um, fuel pipes here so that we can have an external fuel supply as you see on the right and on the left. So at the moment two cylinders are running from the uh, red can which is in that case uh, Shell V power and on the left side two cylinders are running on regular Shell uh, unleaded fuel so 95 run fuel. During the demonstration um, we will run this engine on the same time with those two fuels. So we measure the difference in cylinder pressure. So we have each cylinder has a pressure sensor where we directly can see the pressure from the cylinders. And then we will swap the fuels from the right, if you like, right bank to the left bank and vice versa. So we just change fuels from right to left and you will see that the difference we will then as well see in the cylinder pressure will just belong to the fuel and not somewhere to the engine. Okay, so we will start now the car. So here we have the data readout um, and we're going to go ahead and switch over to the average pressures for each of the cylinder banks. 
So if you look on the left here, this is cylinders one and two and the average pressure of those two cylinders. In the center, we've got the average pressures for cylinders three and four. And then on the right, we have the percent uh, difference between uh, the two cylinder banks. So one and two versus three and four uh, and the difference in pressure that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and explain what we're looking at. So cylinders 1 and 2, the average pressure is 20.31. Cylinders 3 and 4, the average pressure 21.18. And that gives us a cylinder delta of 4.12%. So what we're looking at is cylinders 3 and 4 have a 4% higher pressure than cylinders one and two and this is because the ignition timing is advanced because it can take advantage of that higher octane fuel and not have knock. So the knock sensors in cylinders one and two are preventing it from advancing that timing anymore. Now, so that you can trust the test, Shell went ahead and switched the two fuel cylinders so that uh, one and two were now running the higher octane fuel and three and four were running the lower octane fuel. And as you can see, it creates the higher pressure in cylinders one and two, which are running the higher octane fuel. So you know it's purely based on the ignition timing. So now let's take a look at the ignition timing. Now it's a bit hard to see, but as you look on the left, you've got a peak in green and yellow, and green and yellow represents cylinders one and two, and then red and blue, which you see on the right peaking, that's cylinders three and four. And as you can see, cylinders three and four are firing later. So cylinders one and two, using the higher octane fuel, are able to ignite earlier and have advanced ignition timing. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.